What is up guys? It is your boy once again with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, following the previous week's video which was the pole workout I believe. Or, or the legs. I don't remember. Um, so what we're doing today is analyzing the push. The push workout that I do. This is, this is actually my second day of training prop. Which is like, I train push on Tuesdays. And like legs on Wednesdays, but I uploaded legs first. So here you see me doing the first set, the heavy set of five to nine uh, on the pack deck. And now moving on to the second set, this is the lighter set, the 12 to 15 one. I'm, re I'm actually really uh, almost maxed out the whole machine on the heavy set. I use 75 kg and it's 80. So we will need to put an extender on that soon. Overall, it was it was a really good session, really good session on the, on Tuesday. Now that I'm talking to you, it's Friday, so it's been some days that have passed between the actual filming of the video and now the editing part. I hope you're doing great. I hope you have an amazing week. Uh, it's been a ride this week for me. Trust me. Um, and yeah, let's let's get on with the workout. Okay, guys, moving on to um, the chest press. I'm using, I'm doing 145 kg on this, three plates and two and a halves. Uh, progressed in every single aspect in this session. I had reps up in every single lift. I think I increased weight in some lifts as well, but this one I got plus two reps and the previous time, this time I got eight in this set and the last in last week I got six, so pretty happy with that. And now as you can see, I'm starting to do the lighter set with 105 and it's going pretty well. I did plus one rep, yeah, plus one rep. I really find it hard actually to progress in the lighter sets because like after 12, 13 reps, I'm if I do it like slowly and like my chest and not only my chest, I find it difficult in every single muscle group. Like everything is really burning and I I just fatigue very fast after like the 13, I'd say rep mark. And I just keep pushing from that to like progress, but it's really hard. And now moving on to the incline, um, incl high incline press. I believe the high incline is one of the movements that has really helped me grow that upper upper self. I'd, I'd like to say that like my upper chest, my front delts a bit more. Like I've seen my chest a bit fuller. This time around, I think it was a bit flat on there, on that upper self area. And I think I've seen improvement on this aspect. Yeah, that, that last rep was in grinder. And moving on. Uh, a, a bit of a pump cover reveal. Not reveal. Taking out my pump cover. So, uh, I would like to... Put I think I looked cool, but now that I look back to it, I wasn't. But I guess it's a it's a fine addition to the whole video. Moving on to the cuffed laterals, I do one set here, one set a rest pause, which is first set fifteen reps, then twelve, then ten in the same set. So I take like about thirty seconds rest between each one. So what you're gonna see now, it's only one set, but it's like consecutive, one after the other, with very minimum rest between each one. And I do like one for each arm. Starting off with the left, which is my weaker, I believe. Um, so let me know like what you wanna see next, maybe in the comments. Like, I'm thinking about doing more informational things like videos. I was planning on doing like a deload video about my deload week, how it went and 
how like you should deload if you how you should approach your your deload if you feel like you want to deload and what are the signs but probably next week what the video is going to be is going to be the month to recap of the off season because we I can't believe that I'm saying this but we've reached two months already it feels like yesterday when I did the first month recap video so this week is week eight of my coaching program and we're so close to the end of the off season. It's it's literally almost about a month away, and it's crazy, crazy to think of. Alright, uh, so here we do the reverse flies on the pack deck for our real delts. And we do two sets of 10 and one set to 15. As you can see, I'm doing it very slow, very precise. And like, I'm making sure that I don't get my arms too far behind, so I just involve my traps. I just go to the point where my actual real delts work. And then I stop. Like, if you saw this from the side, you would understand what I mean. Because, that, like, from the back, it seems like I'm going a decent amount behind. But I'm not. Like, a guy from the gym actually told me to do that. And it made sense. And to slow down my, my tempo. Of course, I know my shit. I do know how to train. But I'm not saying that I'm perfect. And now, moving on to the lateral race machine. Which is one of the best machines I've ever used. It feels so good. It feels heavy where it needs to be. Like that. The strength profile of this machine is incredible. It's light when it ne where it needs to be light. 10 out of 10. Yeah, straight up. So yeah, let me know what you want to see next in the comments below. Please. I'd, I'd love to see some feedback. And tell me like if you... If you want me to keep doing this series and if you're interested in it, in it. I wish I had more like gym, gym based audience but like most people are just friends that support the cause rather than actual gym enjoyers or gym enthusiasts or whatever you want to call them or bodybuilders and stuff. Like one day, one day it will happen. So as you can see here. I'm doing a variation of a close grip bench, bench press, which is a variation between the skull crusher and the close grip bench press as well, which is one that suits me best because it targets my delts less, which I've, like, in, the, in previous times where I did close grip bench press, I couldn't feel my triceps at all. I only felt the delts, and I don't know why, because I retracted my back, but it still wasn't enough. So what I do now is this thing where you get like the the fucking bar goes almost to your face. And I do it very very slow. And this is actually the last exercise of the workout. Cannot believe we're already done. This is single arm as you, uh single arm skull crushers or dumbbell extensions, whatever you want to call them. Um so what I do here, you, as you can see, I'm providing some stability through my other arm uh, to my elbow joints. So I make the movement as precise and as controlled as possible. Like really slow on the negative, on the eccentric and just focusing on the eccentric mostly. And this is the posing. Enjoy.
I really hope you enjoyed the video guys and the posing in the end. Like, like subscribe, turn on the post not uh, the notifications bell, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.